I'm a senior lecturer in robotics and automation here at the School of Engineering. I'm the founding lab lead of uh, what we call it biorobotics and medical technologies uh, laboratory. Um, I actually am doing uh, the program leader as well for the mechanical engineering program here. NHS is not providing any prosthetic arm for children in less than two years. And probably we all know that the growth rate is a big challenge among children and this has uh, economical um, impact on the cost for the health authorities. Uh, so we, this is a challenge and the main reason we started this project to develop an affordable devices for children uh, and using a simple solution, using 3D printing, uh, which will allow less uh, time lead for the people to get the device which they are looking for. The project outline was to develop a 3D printed prosthetic that will be uh, used by children under the age of four. Um, the prosthetic is active, so what that means is that uh, it actually has movement and can grasp objects. It isn't just a cosmetic device. And the, the reason that we are trying to introduce this device is to reduce rejection rates. Um, currently children that aren't exposed to prosthetics at an early age tend not to adopt them later in life, or the ones they do get they tend not to, um, not to get along with and reject them early on. I believe as a mission for us uh, as researchers uh, working on medical assisted devices is to help people and support uh, the community. And I feel it is like uh, an ethical commitment that we have applied research which will have impact on the society.